So something else I thought I'd better do, having uh, put up on a few things, is check that the condenser is is sound, because it is just an electrolytic capacitor, so it um, can degrade with time. And there's stuff online suggesting that it happens a lot. So let's just put these off. So those are both negative. I'll get those together. And this is the ground. It's a bit of a dodgy wire, but still. Okay. Okay, so this comes out. And I've noticed a lot of these um, seem to come with a coil. Uh, but this one's in this little rubber housing, which is quite neat. It's got a little terminal um, holder down there as well. But uh, yeah, sure enough, it is a Lucas 2MC capacitor, which should be, I believe, 4,500 microfarads. So I'll see if I can test it for a start. Yeah, so again, this is uh, Lucas 2MC. Electrolytic capacitor. It's got a red mark on it for positive earth and negative. I say it should be 4,500 microfarads. Let's just see if it is according to this anyway. Farad, so it's about right, isn't it? 5400 microfarads. Yeah, so it looks like it's okay. Yeah. 5.4 millifarads. So that's okay. That's what breaks down when it's running. It looks if like that's all right. I'll just try it with something else. So this is the other gadget I've got for um, testing things like this. Just give that a try. Testing. There you go. Five five zero zero. V loss two point two percent. ESR point three three ohms. So yeah, that's okay. So look, it's all right. I'll just stick it back in, I think. Okay, so that's the capacitor back in the bike again. Um, I did actually check the resistance before I put it back in as well. And sure enough, that's infinity. I couldn't pick up any noticeable resistance at all. So that's good, it hasn't, it hasn't um, gone short circuit. <clears throat> so yeah, that um, ESR value of 0.33 ohms that came up on the um, little small meter is very low and is, is good. Um, that's equivalent series distance is what ESR stands for. It's normally rated at um, 100 kilohertz because it's frequency dependent. But basically it, it means that the, um, the capacitor will absorb energy quickly and dump it quickly. So it makes it more effective as a smoothing capacitor to smooth the halfway rectified current coming out of the, the rectifier. So yes, as far as I'm concerned, that's, um, that's good news as well. So the capacitance is right and the ESR value is relatively low. So that's all good. Uh, there seems to be a lot of, of um, sort of myths about these um, battery eliminator type condensers. Um, but there's, there's supposedly improved versions available which seem to vary from, um, I've, I've seen ones that are 6,800 um, microfarads and ones that are 10,000 microfarads. And they, they call them high output or high capacity or something. Um, I don't think that's necessarily a good idea. Um, if you've got a higher capacity capacitor, then it's going to be more difficult to charge up. So you want to put a trade-off really between the smoothing uh, that the capacitor gives you and not just sucking up too much charge when you start kicking the engine over, for instance. 
you don't want to absorb too much energy into the capacitor rather than it going into the ignition system and starting the bike. So, so there's a trade-off between the, say the capacity and uh, it working effectively. So yeah, I guess Lucas did their job probably back in the day and selected a, a capacity that um, is going to work effectively in most circumstances. So I'm going to stick with that. So it certainly seems to meet the spec. So um, should be good to go. Okay, thanks for watching.